Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who are new, I'm Sheena and welcome. I hope you're subscribed. So today I am using the James Charles palette from Morphe. I created this really pretty eye look. And without going into too much detail, um, because I want you guys to see it, I'm kind of up in the air about the palette a little bit. Um, it did kind of give me a little bit of a run for my money. But even still, I'm very excited about the palette. And again, congratulations to James on this Morphe collab. The palette is beautiful. These are my type of shadows, totally my speed. I can't wait to use it again. So, yeah, if you guys want to hear my thoughts and see how I created this eye look, then please continue watching. All right, you guys, so today's video is all about the eyes because I'm using the James Charles Morphe palette. Super excited about it. This is the Artistry palette, and I've already got my lid set. I used my NYX eyeshadow base that I always use. It's kind of like... um. A little bit of a tacky base, but like full coverage. And you guys know that I absolutely hate these. I always say like, oh, I'm going to cut it and glue it in or like glue it to the top of the palette, but I never do. So I'm sure you guys have seen this palette everywhere at this point, and I'm probably late to the game. I didn't get it the first round. It sold out. The second round, I was able to get it. It sold out again, but I'm glad I got it. Thanks to Bay. You're welcome. <laughs> So this is the palette in all its gorgeousness. And I kind of have an idea of the look I want to go for. I've seen a lot of rainbow looks. I don't really want to do that. I've seen some nude looks. Don't want to do that either because you guys know I'm not a nude type of girl. I love my bright colors. And honestly, that's why I got this palette. So, I mean, no hate or anything. Congratulations to James, but I don't really... Um, keep up with him all like that. I do follow him on social media and stuff, but like I said, I don't really keep up with him. Um, I just liked all the colors, and I liked how big the palette is. You guys know I have the 39A, so I'm excited to have this in my collection. I just wanted to see what these colors perform like on my eyes. So I'm just tapping that base in because it's starting to crease because it's not set down. And I guess according to him, um, the best type of base to use is a base like this that isn't set. So I'm going to start by going into this orange shade. And I'm going to start... That's pigmented. That is super pigmented. I'm going to start tapping that and blending it into the crease. Now nobody come for me for using... Morphe shadows. I know there are people who love Morphe and then there's people that feel differently to each their own. I just wanted to give it a shot because like I said, I really like bright pigmented shadows and I mean it is affordable. Okay, so it is blending out like okay, but you really have to kind of like pack it and sweep lightly, not so much blending because it seems like it kind of breaks apart a little bit. So I guess these are pressed pigments and there is a certain way that you have to work with them, kind of like the subculture palette that everybody pretty much hate it. Well, there were some people that liked it, but majority of people that I've seen use it absolutely hated that palette. And I do believe, like I said in the video when I reviewed it, that it's meant to bring out your inner artist and really push you. So I kind of feel like that's the way James was going with this palette as well. So as you can see, I just like packed it on in a windshield wiper motion. And then I'm going to go into the next shade that's kind of orangey. 
and I'm going to use that to blend in with the shade I laid down. So basically to help blend out any of those harsh edges and give some dimension. And when you do that, everything just kind of comes together. So I just really feel like you can make an eyeshadow palette work. Some people don't want to work for it, but I do. <laughs> okay, so one eye, it blended out and stayed. On this eye, I don't even know if you guys can tell, but it's all broken up. It won't stay. Keep trying to pack it on and get it to stay. It won't stay. It just keeps blending away. Oh, oh, yeah, I see that. It literally will not stay. It's not, it's not staying. I don't know what's going on. Never experienced that before. Okay, whatever. Moving on, because that just looks horrible. I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to start putting that more focused on this outer portion here. So I'm going to cut out the lid and then once I do that, I'm going to go in with this yellow shade and this white shade. Now uh, we're going to pack the yellow, maybe. <laughs> we might not be packing that yellow. It is really powdery, but usually most eyeshadow palettes are, or pressed pigments tend to be really powdery. This yellow feels really chalky. Really yeah. You can just see the dust flying. It's like broken up, use. like. And oh. sticking only in some areas, not oh. all. Okay, I got that yellow to stay. Now I'm gonna go in with the white. I expected this white to be so much more pigmented than what it is. It's very sheer. I mean, <laughs> what is happening right there? What is that? What are those? What is that? Yeah. You guys know, like, I don't complain about palettes. I don't have a hard time with palettes. The Jaclyn Hill palette um, really made me mad. I had a hard time with that. And I'm having a hard time with this, too. It's like the orange, the yellow doesn't want to stay. The white's not pigmented. I thought it was going to be way more pigmented. This yellow is very chalky. And I do understand that, like, more light colors, the more bright, vibrant, that have a white undertone are way harder to get a really nice consistency of shadow. But I'm over here fighting with shadow and it's winning. <laughs> it's like crumbling. Like, what is that? Why is it crumbling? Yeah, now you got a patch on that eye. Guys. 
<laughs> I didn't even know what to say. Yeah, I think you should uh, go and retire that palette for the day. I'm going to go and try to fix my eyes. And then I'll be back. Then we're going to talk. Okay? All right, you guys. So I am back. I have my full face done. I was able to fix the eyes. Pretty good, pretty good. This palette. Let's talk about this palette. So, you really do have to work with it. It is a little weird, like bumpy, chalky is the best way to explain it. I know with whites and yellows and orange, it's very hard to get them buttery and still pigment it. But I do have other shadows of the same shade that are extremely buttery and pigmented. And they seem to blend easily and don't give me a hard time. Now, I'm not saying I don't like this palette because it's the first time that I'm using it. So, like the Jaclyn Hill palette that I used um, a couple months back from the Vault Collection, I'm going to give this one another chance. The Jaclyn Hill one didn't work out for me. I ended up giving it away. I used it again off camera and I just couldn't get it to work. The shadows were really just hard. These aren't hard. They're very powdery. There's a lot of kickback, which happens on a lot of palettes, especially Morphe palettes. They are a more affordable brand. Is this my favorite Morphe palette to work with? No, it's definitely the 39A. But am I willing to give it a second chance? Yes. And that's just because it's so vibrant. Like I said, that's why I got this palette. It's beautiful, but I don't know if you guys can see it. There's powder all over the palette. So lots of kickback. And like I said, the shadows I chose to use today are really chalky. But I did get a beautiful look out of it. I just had to take some time with it. So this is not a quick go palette. This is definitely an artistry palette because you're going to have to work for it. Like a lot of people said they didn't like the Subcontra palette because they really had to work for it. And that's not for everyone. So I will be doing another look with this palette, um, trying out some of the other shades because I haven't even swatched them, touched them, dipped into them. And I know that some of the other shadows will work differently because like this pinky burgundy kind of shade is very pigmented and worked beautifully blended out nicely. Where I had the problems was the yellow, the white, and the orange. So we will see, but anyways, even still, this look came out very pretty, very vibrant, and yeah, that's all I have to say right now about this palette. I'm sorry if this video seems kind of short. I just got a little bit frustrated, you guys. It happens. And I will say that another thing I used to help these shadows was my Kat. I used my Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade Whiteout. And I got this just to do a cut crease. I should have either cut the crease originally with this or my NYX eyeshadow base that I had already put down because I was just using a regular concealer like I normally do and it doesn't stick at all. You do need some type of tacky base or a white vibrant base and use packing motions to get it to stay. If you do decide to try this palette or if you already have it and you're having a hard time with it, those are just some tips I have for you. So if you liked this video and you want to see another review on this palette from me, give this video a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and your bell notification so you aren't missing out on any more videos. And yeah, don't forget to put a smile on your face because it is truly the best makeup you can wear. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.